to do on deck. Is that clear to go? Yeah. Yes, we are clear to launch. Gilles is away. Do we need the Ethernet switch on, on here? Roger. So I don't Why have... Why do I not have... I don't have a camera. I thrust ahead. My camera went away. You're not in high pressure here. Idiot. Thank you. <laughs> Dope. Are you telling me you do not have the Hercules Zeus camera? I do not have Herc Zeus right now. Do you have comms with it? Can you open the iris? It's, I'm on auto iris. Um. And uh, Hercules is past the transom, but I have no lights on. I'm Roger. Bringing them up. No, bringing them up. I had camera too, and it went away. Okay. There oh, it is. Wait, there it is. It Night works time. when you have the lights on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put bubble? Oh, you got it. Nope, never mind. Ignore me. Works when you have the lights on. Yep. <laughs> Atlantis still on deck. No lights yet. Great. I'll turn the rest of that on when it gets in the water. Roger that. Oh, look at a little fish. Like, oh, hey. uh, Van deck, umbilicals all the way out. Roger. Looks in the water. See if I can lateral. Got it fairly tight on the way out, huh? Uh, this is tighter than it sh I should do, but yes. <laughs> okay. Going down. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> okay. Secure the optode for fun. See if that gets our ground fault back up. Butt cams look good. Everything looks good. Gauges are good. Save. Sorry. Wow. Oh. That was good. That was a surprise. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, and now that we're in tilt camera down. Sure. Now that we're happy, I'm gonna switch to the dive salvo. Yep. This is a time check. UTC oh, eleven hours oh one minutes. 10 seconds. Check. Megan, what's all this yucky stuff in the water? Um, no idea. It's yucky stuff. Okay. Could be like jellyfish. Oh yeah, it's wild. It doesn't look like jellyfish. Maybe it's like spawning season or something. 
Mm. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know. Where are you, ship? <laughs> I bet we're over there. We're over there. Oh, this is where my, uh, let's turn our started. There we go. That's where Argus is? Oh, I did right a uh, simulation and it put it over there. Good one. <laughs> Center on the simulation. We are living in a simulation. Let's turn this down. Yeah, because I threw 50 meters. Oh, it looks right with the world. I'm going to secure butt cam. Just verify that yeah. ground fault test that they were doing. Huh. Yeah, so uh, don't forget high pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still Ooh, moving? Raz is up there nicely, which is good. Yeah, that'll drop off as soon as we get. That'll be cool. Yeah. What was that? Are we still moving ahead? Yeah. Looks like it. Uh, we can stop that if you want. Yeah. Bridge nav. Bridge, nav. Can we hold position here? Roger. Is that current not quite high? It is quite high, yep. Yeah. That's what they saw last dive. I think we go with it. I'm also, here, let me go dead stick. Yeah, it's higher than I expect, but this is a high amperage motor. Uh, this motor draws more amps than you'd want. It's pretty old. Okay. Ready for, for control? Absolutely. Okay, let's go for it. Yep. Okay. I've got it. We're good? Yeah. Full send, huh? <laughs> Full send, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I was not dead stick. I lied to you earlier. This is dead stick. 31 amps. Okay. So your ground fault, the, the bigger the number, the better? Yes. Okay. Did we bring the red book up? Absolutely not. Oh, you want me to go get it for you? No, that's fine. Josh, right. we're, we're not allowed to touch it. It's like sacred. Yeah. Wait, who's not allowed to touch it? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody except the ROV lead. No, I hope that's not true. You better be touching it. <laughs> that's too fast. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, it's all right. Throw her in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, man. Good morning. What are some of the objectives we have here? All right, simple. Already? Have a good one. She'll up here for the fun part. Oh, thank you. Blue water, so I'm out. Beginning watch, pick me up. Start of the watch, pick me up. What sort of descent speed are you looking for, Mitt? Uh, 30, probably. Faster than what I'm going. Okay. I'll speed up. I'll leave it at that till you get there. Thank you. Video is changing watch. Have a good night. Roger. Thanks. Good night. Thank you.
things go, things change, mate. Things happen. Dynamic situation. Okay. ROV pilots, how deep are we going to go this morning? Ooh, that was really uh, quiet. Hmm? That was really quiet, whoever that was. Oh. I got it. I hear you. Okay, sounds good. 2196 meters. 2196 meters. 2000 meters. Alright, I'm making 28. I can make 30, I think. Yep, I can come up with it. Okay, Raj. So my findings there was O2 sensor and butt cam secure, made the ground fault better, but not all better. Not all better, yeah. Three, four hundred, I can't remember what I saw now, but it was not, uh, not all better. Gauges are good, voltages are good, comps are good. Thank you very much. That but was very dramatic. But Josh didn't hear me say that. Spot on. Okay. Raj. They have better chairs. Good morning. Jeez. That's just not cricket. Down below, I know that they have black electrical tape that I think I might borrow some of so it won't stick out so badly on my laptop. Oh, yeah, what happened to your laptop? Yeah, so... Do you have it? I do not have it at this... Oh, thank you. <clears throat> he just handed me some black tape. That's the good stuff. That's Hockey the tape. 3M. <laughs> oh. I get a Super 33? Super 88. So, oh man, spare no expense. Come on, you think we're playing around here? <laughs> so um, what Sean, happened? I think I fixed the dive plan there, so feel free to circulate. I think we're a little confused on our gas tanks. We'll just take stock when they're back on board, but. Okay. What had happened was, is I have a plastic cover over my laptop and then like it's low key deteriorating on the edges. Nice. So one of the pieces landed like on the desktop area. And then when I went to go close my laptop, one of those pieces punctured the glass of my laptop. And now oh. there's a little hole in the screen oh, of no. my laptop. And AJ being the awesome engineer that he is, he's like, we'll just cover it with tape. I'm like perfect. Problem solved, but, right? But, um, I'm Didn't using it, red no, tape at the it. moment, which sticks out like a sore thumb. So I'm grateful yeah, for I mean, the black like tape. The other option, yeah, yeah. if it's in the screen, a chip you it's could use clear tape. It's packing people, tape, yeah. and then you can see all around it. Mm. I know people that have broken their phone screens and just used then some packing tape to hold it. Yeah, together. my phone's covered in packing tape, actually. There you go. See? Oh, yeah. Down there. Oh, it's like very similar to the crack in my screen. <laughs> yeah, this is this because I th I threw my phone on the ground. Why? Why'd you go do that for? Because I felt like it. All of AJ's stuff is just covered in packing tape. Electrical tape. <laughs> you're just ready to ship at any time. <laughs> yeah, any, that's right. You never time. know when you when you're gonna have to ship something. <laughs> I was able to get Jeb to play me some music last night. No way. Way. Yeah. What did he play you? He Jeb's played never played me music. Really? You got you just gotta hand him the guitar. Yeah. So we're like, hey bro. And he just started. He just jabbed uh, away from you. So good. 
I bet he's fantastic at guitar. A heartthrob. Uh, yeah. There's he's no also way a very good not. dancer. I did know that. Swing yeah. dancing. Yeah. Have you seen it, or you've just heard I've about it? I've seen it. I've never seen, I've seen it. it. Yeah. Witnesses. I would like to dance with him, but... Well, I'm offers. sure we can arrange that. I don't think we do that. What? That's not part of the Nautilus social? No, we don't arrange no, we d dances with arranging. people. No, we don't arrange dances. <laughs> Put it on the happens. whiteboard. <laughs> the dream board. <laughs> the dream board. <laughs> 1600. <laughs> yeah. Josh and Jeb dance. <laughs> I'm sure we could clear some tables, make some space. Is Jeb back there to defend himself? No, no absolutely Jeb's not. asleep no. for sure. That's how we, that is how we do it. Jeb is Jacob's roommate, yes? Oh, so they're just yep, the perfect you. room? Mm -hmm. Well, Jake's perfect, and then Jeb's just dancing and oh, playing guitar you. and working 13 million hours a day. This Jacob right here. I have never once seen him in there. You've uh, never seen him? Okay. That's in, a bit of an exaggeration. In the room? I've seen him, but the, he's cause, always working. That's because he lives in the lab. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is, uh, this is after he's worked like every evening and weekend for the past two months preparing for this cruise. Yep. Poor guy. I would I just walk away. What, does, does he get paid more? No. Overtime? Uh -huh. he's he just trying. laugh? No. <laughs> no. Please. Uh, sucker. He gets stock options. <laughs> stock options. Nice. I think he's keeping track of all the extra time he's putting in. Good. Take yeah. a whole month off. After I hope September, he does. I he's guess. so... Uh, he's like way too intense about it though. Well, it's good. He cares. Yeah, he cares. Somebody has to. He cares too much. Too much. Tell me about the shirt you're wearing. Deep Sea Power and Light, 40 years going. I mm. believe they have a few cameras and lights on Herc. That's right. Yep. They make all the lights on Herc and Atlanta. All the lights. All the lights. Herc and Atlanta are made by Deep Sea Power and Light. Been getting lit for 40 years, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess so. <laughs> yes. Yes. 40 years this year. I like their logo. Yeah, it's cool, hey? It's also... Never mind. Roger. What are their lights called? They're the ones that do the, like, something fish or whatever? Uh, no. Oh. It's a different Can I just say that the aft cam no, right now on the, and the deck uh, looks like a little smiley face? Another board, kind with of the way those uh, <laughs> 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 straps are laid out? No, no, that's, that. that's different. <laughs> uh, okay. Sea light. They're called the, the sea lights. The moon setting tonight is quite mm. magical. <laughs> So, Malana, you were asking about the uh, dive objectives. Mm -hmm. So this is part two. This is the sequel to our original MEF dive uh, that was uh, aborted early. And we're going to go do a grotto bars right at the start. Is that the first thing? First thing. Should we just drop right into grotto? Just parachute into grotto Kay. with your arm out and just yank the bars right off the wall. I'll come right back up. Ba total bounce yeah. dive. Yeah, bounce yeah. dive. Okay. Touch nice. and go. Don't touch. Just go. Tuck and roll. Here we go. Yeah, love it. Uh, It'll fit the theme of our James Bond movie that was being watched that I oh, did not eye. watch. So good. <laughs> that I did not watch. Did you watch the rest of The Mummy? No. I fell asleep I, I during both those movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love falling asleep during movies. You're a, you're one of those, hey. It's my it's yeah like I became one of those like yeah, two it's years one of your ago. Thing. Yeah, it's an age. You hit an age. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say. I, see. But I feel like I'm pretty young to be one of those. That's guys. such a dad. Thing no, no, to do. it happens do you have around in your thirties. Yeah, like early thirties. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I am. And uh, it's wonderful. Best sleeps of my life. Yeah, best sleeps are during when movies are on. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like you're dreaming. It's like physics lectures in university. <laughs> Best but sleeps. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Depends what you're watching. Do you want to dream about mummies or James Bond? I got to say, I've recently fallen in love with Star Trek Next Gen, <gasps> which is on Netflix in Canada. Yes. And, like, talk about good sleeps. Oh, talk about good sleeps. It's like and a, a good podcast. Background, I don't even have to watch it. A good I background listen. show. You just put it on, and then you do whatever, you or you go to sleep. Just listen to, like, you know... Yeah. Lieutenant Worf and Geordie LaForge get into some like shenanigans oh. and you just fall asleep. And they always ignore Worf and it's just fantastic. <laughs> that's what uh they can do that cracking jokes all the time. What, I can't tell you on this. I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Number one. And yeah. he's still and he's still playing Picard. Yeah, I have to go, now I have to go watch the it's new not, Picard. I don't I mm, don't recommend it. 
And I watched the first episode of it ages ago, and it looked a little different. If you want to talk to somebody about Next Gen, talk to Hannaford. Oh, yeah? Him and he's, I. He's oh, a big man. Next Gen fan? Well, Next Gen it all day. Oh, I love it. So good. I just watched, I think it was, it was one of my favorite episodes. I, unless happened. I'm wrong, I think we're going up there. I don't remember all the episodes, that's for sure. Yeah. No, I know, but like, some of them are real, real winners. Some aren't. Real winners. <laughs> so those south bars there, is it Smoke and Mirrors? And we're going to the Grotto one up top. I fell asleep. I think it's the one where they find. Grotto bar's old. An alternate. Or one um, of those. Commander Riker, somewhere near oh. there. the one that got like trapped on the planet for there's, eight years. There's nothing better than when they find alternate versions of themselves. Yeah, so, that's yeah. right. It's like loser work. Riker who like got trapped and nobody wants him. Yeah, um, it's so funny they don't want to pay other actors, so they just make like the same I characters. I would become like four. where we yeah. are. Yeah. Bar's they, like, yeah. Give him a mustache. Do we think that Grotto Bar's old 2023-06 is the right one? Yeah. Is the right target? I wonder what Jake is that your best like guess? Without a mustache. Okay, <laughs> then I think we should land. Uh, nothing. Uh, here. Sans mustache. The 2022 one matches that the bathymetry. For the oh, objective right. For yes. this Sorry, stat. we're on the objectives thing. Yeah, so we got a little carried away. Yeah. Bars, yeah, benthic and resistant. Totally. I totally. am obsessed yeah, totally. with objectives. But That's yeah, good. the 2022 one be. versus that lump <laughs> looks right. So <laughs> I think we land on just this side of the lump. Certainly not the dive lead. Which us maybe there-ish. That's what we're here for. No, I'm all about getting these check marks. Check, check, check. Help our leaders lead us in the yep, right no direction. Wow, leading the leaders. Nice. It's like, no, I'm behind you. Oh, and then, like, you go it. astray. Yeah. And I'm like, come back this no, way. No, 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 no. I'm back. We're, back we're, doing, we're doing work here. No, 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 no. I'm trying to remember what the name of this is again. I can't remember. CTD? CTD. Conductivity, Easy. temperature, depth. Conduct oh yeah, that's off, eh? Those things. It's like a little RBR CTD USB key. You know, like the PPT, PPS? Oh, no. <laughs> well, there is a CTD IP. The PPS is a thing. It's the Bui <laughs> profiling system. If you just say three letters, I guarantee you we have an instrument. ATM. Nice. Yeah. EDM, electronic dance music? Oh, also a good one, yeah. MEF. Main Endeavor Field. Is that an instrument? Nailed it. It's several instruments. Mm -hmm. Good point. A whole orchestra. Did you guys get a mid-watch pick-me-up from a navigator in the last watch? You or mean is that, like... Or is that just me? Here's another <laughs> USB key in the shape of an Aquadop. Aquadop. What is an Aquadop? Nortec Aquadop is a current meter. So it uses these three transducer heads, and they bounce off the, the water, like a few feet in front of it, and they tell you the speed that the water's going. The speed that the water is going, like how fast the current is pushing. Yep. Dang. That is some next level stuff. Stuff. Yeah, we, we have like a million of these. Not the USB keys, the aqua dops. The USB keys are more valuable. Why do you have USB keys in the shape of instruments? Oh, Why not? look at this one. Because. Look at this 3D one printed? Charter. Ocean Hours Canada. No, they're like, this is like, uh, what do you call it? Swag. Oh, from the, from Nortec. Yeah. Swag. Neat. Have you ever seen the USB key in the shape of a tugboat from ITB, Trevor? No. It's oh absolutely my God. massive. I tried it's so ridiculous. hard to get Colin to get me one of those. Oh, they're so cool. And I can't even get a sticker from ITB. I don't he know. He was so <laughs> happy because he came over. He's like, AJ, I got you something. And I was like, oh, my God, did you get me a, a tugboat? And it was like one of the lame ITB, like, uh, just the flat USB keys. Oh, boo. And he gave me one of those. I was like, what am I supposed to do with uh, this? You got to get the full Put boat. data on it? No. I have USB keys. No, it doesn't actually work. Because <laughs> yeah, no. I put it in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber ducky. Question. <laughs> Shoot. This person heard in a discussion the umbilical cord or tether reel is about seven kilometers long. Yeah, they if, did. If you are pumping a current through the whole reel of coiled cable, is there a noticeable magnetic field? I'm curious. Oh, that's an interesting question. I love that question. Um, let me go take a magnet down to the winch. And no. does, it, does it suck the knife off of a the magnetic field? Off the magnum? Yeah. <coughs> it's like if you run. I mean, no, I'm, sh I'm sure that there is, but we've never measured it. Ever? No, and and it doesn't affect any. 
anything on the sub or... Well, it wouldn't affect the sub, it would be like down by the winch. Right, like but you know what I mean? Is like there though? We're sending all three phases through there and they all cancel each other out. Oh. So yeah, I wonder if because it's three phase. Said that if sharks come near the umbilical or some kind of animals, a lot of them turn away because of that effect. Cool. I don't know if I believe him. But <laughs> no, I believe him. I would like that for <coughs> mosquito repellent. I wish there was like some kind of. If we run vibration. three thousand volts through you, <laughs> then maybe <laughs> the, the mosquitoes, mosquitoes aren't going to bother you. Aren't going to bother you. They'll just, just like them. come close and mm, they're mine. No problem, and you'll be completely electrified all the time. I'll be real lit. Electric. Lit. Oogie oogie oogie. You know what I'm referring to there? You two are lost. Dude. Usually. <laughs> lost. <laughs> we're Canadian. <laughs> what? Does not. That means we're kay. lost. Okay, anybody know what I'm referring to when they say it's electric? Oogie 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 no. I'm getting some deer in headlights. Roger. Damn. We need to get to some dancing down below. Yeah, schedule so it. What's Arrange electric? It. It's electric. You know, like the um, electric slide. Well, keep going. No, I don't. I think you need to sing more. <laughs> We're gonna bring up Jeb for this. For Jeb, sure. I'll tell you something. If you can get Jeb to sing. He was singing for me. Oh, oh man, that I'm is, so hurt. How jealous are we right now? I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> I'm so hurt. Wow. I think we were singing together. Jeb and Maybe I that was helpful. Oh, that's so nice. Every minute together, and he still won't sing. Barbie. Maybe that's why he won't sing, because he spends so much time together. It's possible. My favorite one that he was playing last night was Blackbird. Singing in the dead of night. Nice. That's a good song. Yeah. He's there. So you and Jeb both have guitars here? <coughs> what were you? What were you playing last night? You oh, were. a bunch of. I was trying to um, lullaby Mike to sleep on <laughs> the tub because he was so tired. So I was playing the gentlest song I, I knew, some uh, Kane Brown song. Oh. All I know is country songs for the most part. Sad country songs. Is that is that who you are? That's sad who I am as a person deep down. Sad country boy. Just a sad cowboy. Just thinking about my truck and my. You wakeboard <laughs> boat. Did you put that bumper sticker on your truck? <laughs> <laughs> they were None so, of us are going to do they that. They were so convinced you were going to do it. I was like, I, will, I guarantee you are that's you not kidding? on his truck. You should have seen Mike Hannaford as soon as, as soon as the guys were out of your shot. He's like, he was mad. <laughs> I'll never tell, I'll, we'll never tell Nico, but. Uh, no. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was funny that he got him done, but no way are no. you putting that on your it's car. A, it's a full-on sticker. It's not a magnet, right? Yeah. Yeah, he should what have done magnets. What did it say? A magnet. It says, my other car is an ROV, and it has a pic little picture of an ROV on the end of it. Oh, no. But it's a sticker. Like, it doesn't come off. If it was a magnet, sure, Ooh. we'll slap it on for a few days, but... <coughs> yeah, stickers are a big commitment. He didn't, um... What do you mean you're not going to put that on your truck? A sticker? Forever? Yeah, bro. Do you have any stickers in your truck? I have no stickers on my truck. Should Play. I? Should I? Should I? Plain yes. boy. I think your political views should be on stickers on your truck. Oh, I have one sticker. It says, I don't have any kids, but I want to live too. <laughs> Do you really have that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, as opposed to, like, the baby on board? Yeah, because <laughs> all the people with baby on board is like, oh, I want to live too. <laughs> hey. I get it. <sighs> It took me a long time to understand. I'm like, what? You're like, what? I want a sticker on my truck that shows the world that I have stick shift so that if you're too close to me, I'm going to start rolling. Nice. You know when they're like just right there and I'm on a hill and we're at a stoplight? Yeah, yeah. bro. Chow. 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 It's like, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. But watch out. Chow. Sorry. Chow. Chow. <laughs> That's a very Hawaiian slang, by Child. the way. I'm taking that. Look out. Like, Isn't that like an Arnold Schwarzenegger? Look out. Look <laughs> out. Look out. <laughs> Get into a chopper. Stop whining. <laughs> have you guys seen have you guys seen okay. the Schwarzenegger documentary? Uh documentary? Yeah, there's like a three no. part Terminator? documentary. Terminator. I've seen a photo, yeah, of, it. I've seen a nice. photo of like, you know, when it's on Netflix, it's yeah. like, here it is. I started watching it, 
and that guy's so cool. No, he's he's super cool. He's James's idol. Is he? Well, no. Look at James. <laughs> no, James's favorite mo movie is uh, Terminator Two, though. Oh, uh, I have. Um, he is adamant that that is the best movie of all time. Yeah. Yeah. He will not back down. Whereas everybody really knows that it's Forrest Gump, but that's fine. Yeah, word. That's that's the movie. Thank you, <laughs> Dave. Forrest Gump. Life is like a box Finally of agree on something. You never know what you Jenny. The movie, the soundtrack, everything. Yep, the whole bit. It what has a, everything in it. What a CCR it. on yep. that soundtrack. Name another movie with everything in it. The live I'm action a, remake. I'm a bigger fan of Apollo 13, <laughs> but that's just me. I have never seen said movie. What Forrest movie did you Gump? Say, AJ? Apollo. Apollo 13. Well, that is fantastic, it's a really but it doesn't movie. have everything. Uh, it has, uh, it has, has most things. Most things. It doesn't have everything. Yeah. I guess I guess the one thing it has over Forrest Gump is space. Space, yeah. Space. There's space. definitely more space in There's Apollo 13. There's more space 13. in Apollo 13. Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing over there? Flipping pages. I'm just focusing on the plan. Good. <laughs> that was love that it. was pretty harsh. I'm just doing my job. Sean and I are here <laughs> to follow Sorry, guys. Else. To help guide Sean, I like Force Gump too, what but I'm plan? trying to figure out um, what ports we need to turn on. Because and when to turn them on. Oh. Um, yeah, because we're gonna be connecting some things down there today. We sure are. Just yeah. focused on the plan. Well, I think the first thing to do that we're gonna need to do, Sean, is make sure that port three of JB twelve is off. Roger that. Because <clears throat> that's the old that's the old bars. That would make a good hard hat sticker. Just focusing on the plan. <laughs> what the old bars? <laughs> no. Focusing on the on the plan. What was the what was the word you had? Just focusing on the plan. Sean, replay. What did you just say for a Trevor? <laughs> uh, I can't even remember. Something about a plan. <laughs> Too focused on the plan to remember. Yeah, that's right. God. I'm just so <laughs> focused on the plan. <laughs> How about you, Jacob? Are you focused on the plan? <laughs> Laser focus on the plan. Oh man, I feel like your mic is too far from your mouth, but also, that just might be a me thing, huh? No, How's you guys just sounds about right. Jacob, what okay. is your plan? Uh, to zoom when you say zoom. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. a good plan. You're killing it, let me tell you. <laughs> no, but like, what's your plan after this? Like uh, in life? You mean like in life? Week. Like in life, yeah. In life? Oh, I haven't figured that plan? one out yet. Make it? I don't know. Make it? Make what's, it? what's making it? <laughs> what does making it look answer. like? No, that's it. That's I have no clue. I've ever heard. Gonna make it. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it. We're gonna. Um, Jacob's gonna make it, that's and then so Josh is gonna also be alive, like the children in the car. Exactly. We have the same plan. <laughs> like your bumper sticker oh, that yeah. you that's already my, have on your car. Yeah. Fair. It's not on my you, bumper. It's on my window. You have that on your truck. <laughs> so unnecessary. Well, <laughs> political view. Yeah, it's political. true. It kind of is a political view. It's not political. Yeah. Sure it is. <laughs> it's controversial. <clears throat> you don't deserve to live, Josh. Oh. Jeez, no, I I harsh. Harsh. Now we're getting harsh. getting harsh. Can we get that uh, audio clip saved, please? <laughs> For sure, I'll write it down. <laughs> You don't, you don't deserve, deserve to live, live Josh. Josh. He says as he stares into my eyes <laughs> and my soul. Wow. <laughs> Your eyes being the plan. Oh, wait, wait, no. Hang on. He's got a bumper sticker. Let's save him. <laughs> the bumper sticker convinced me. Oh, thanks. Good. He says dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> dripping. Yeah. Oy, oy, oy. Hmm. Two bars. Do, 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 do. New bars for Grotto left at Grot platform. Grot plat. So, AJ, I want to confirm what port we're going to be connecting that bars to. Is it J1? J3. On which JB? JB12. J3 on JB12. Okay. Yeah, it was the old bars. It's going to be the new bars. Hey, Raina's awake. All right. <coughs> Hi, Raina. Isn't it Sunday at like 3 a.m.? That's commitment. Sure is. On a long weekend. 
On a long weekend. Oh, it is a long That's weekend, right. isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're taking tomorrow off, Trevor. Yeah, I think so. It's a stat, so we all get it off. Yep. What are you going to do? You uh, the make it. Multi-beam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do on your day off? I'm going to make it. <laughs> Beaming multiple times. <laughs> Who's excited for multi-beaming, taking the waves? What if outside? instead of multi-beaming, we just dive more? Yes. Love it. Someone's going to um, show me how to shoot rainbows. You're going to shoot the rainbows? Mm -hmm. What did they ever do to you? There is missing pieces in the rainbow, so we have to shoot at the rainbow to complete it. it out. What are you talking about? I guess that's multi-beaming. Yeah, so oh, that, that, that's a multi-beam, multi haven't you? <laughs> You've never multi-beamed before? Trevor? What a dolt. <sighs> your mic is Go not at your mouth and your exhale is off. Um, Josh, so you're like talking and no one's Don't tell him. listening to you. <laughs> we're gonna have to, s we're gonna get some palm worm samples. So how does this, Trevor or Josh, can you explain to me how your worm sampling system works. <laughs> Trevor, Josh has delegated the task. Yeah, I, I already keep up, AJ. Is <laughs> oh, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, that was, was that Herc? Was, did I hear that coming from Herc? Yeah, I just did it for you. Oh, it's thank like you, Herc. similar to in the movies when they're in space and the cars, the spaceships go pew, 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 pew. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think you need to watch Next Gen. More Next Gen. I do. Where do I find this Next Step Gen? Step phasers to sun. Sitting here in this room, we are the next generation. AJ, do you want a real nice. answer? I would like a real answer, yeah. Okay. Imagine a vacuum. Yeah. And then the thing goes up into a eight-way divided suction jar carousel thing on the front of Herc. Oh, so it's got like... In its little eyebrow, it's got like a little uh, sampler for different species. Stand by. In its eyebrow. In its eyebrow. About the suction sampler? Yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about? Yeah. See those jars? Yeah, jars. You can yeah, fill jars. them full of science. Where, on the right? I don't know which jars. There's one, two, three, four, five, kind of making oh, a little smile on the top there. Those jars. Cool. So there's eight, they're indexable, and the hose goes direct from the nozzle tip up to there, and that is suctioned from the back of the vehicle. So and cool. you fill the jar with what you'd like, and then you we press a button, and it switches to the next jar. He likes palm worms. That's pretty cool. Yeah, palm worms. All the palm worms. I don't know. So does anyone know what that is? Who's going to deal with a who's palm who's worm? Who's going to tell us what palm worms are? Yeah. I think you're going to tell us, Sean. I'm looking. I mean, I'm not a... I, I, just, worms. I just discovered them the other day. I d I you discovered palm worms? Wow. Why yeah, congratulations. You name them it was well, my first worms. discovery of Why'd you call worms? them palm worms and not name them Sean after? Worms. Like Sean, Sean Worms. Sean Worms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm probably not the best person to identify Focus these, on the plan, guys. Seeing as how it was like, you know, I, my first exposure to them the other day. You mean the plan to make it? Well, um, Roger. I, I don't know if I've ever, I guess I have seen them. Where, where do they live? What do you mean you don't? In the water, in the ocean. In the Palm deep ocean? In the deep ocean, at Endeavor, at Main Endeavor Field. Oh. We're getting more specific. Are they the ones that grow on the fence? I don't know. Trevor? I'm, I'm yeah. sure, I'm yeah, sure. I don't know. Those I'm are sure called tube worms. Yeah, right. that's right. Those yes, are tube worms. That, that are tube worms a type of palm worm? Well, here, let's Google palm worms. Or are palm surely. worms type of tube worm? Wait, are you telling me the science world doesn't know what we need to sample? We have an engineer here, right? right. That's correct. Everybody we back have here an engineer, is not to be mistaken with a sci scientist. I'll just right. Oh, these are disgusting. Asleep. I'll just slurp yeah, on the whole thing. Unfortunately. There's a guy, like, eating one. What? Why? What? Why are we doing, doing Those are beans. Those these are, like, maggots. pinto beans. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Did not you, uh, animals. Put, maybe you have Those to put definitely deep look seeds. like beans to me. beans. Yeah. Well, lucky for us... Scientist Fabio will be up here in time to sample these palm worms. Here we that go. They are the ones that grow. They're so gross. <laughs> Why would anybody want these? 
for science? In the name of science, well, that's Fabio's brave because I wouldn't go near these things. <laughs> he is brave. He puts up with all of us. So. To each. Peril, vil peril vanilla. Did they come in chocolate? Commonly known as palm worms. Feather gills that look like palm fronds. Oh, they're like these gross ones. All right. All right, AG, you can identify them for us now. I th yeah, I think I can. All right. They're kind of greeny. They look like palm trees. Yeah, I, I mean, I, th I thought I saw some kind of peeking out on Sanya. The yeah, other there day. were some on Sanya. Yeah. Yeah, but when I suggested sampling at Sanya, Megan Sorry, turned that down. Bit. So I guess Grotto okay. is where we could do it. I think we can do it. Don't According stop. to Fabio this morning, we can do it anywhere that we find them. Yeah. But I'm not sure we knew that at the time. Right. Or we just had other things to do. Rigia tube worms. Rigia? Rigia. It's one of those. Rigia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so update on J3. Um, still online, but uh, we are in the process of informing systems to turn it off. Excellent, thank oh, you so much. Oh, no, it is off. Oh. I think it, it should be, because that bars has it been disconnected. Make, like, the bars failed ages ago. There. Yeah, yeah, okay. Confirmed off. Uh, I see, I see. Raina edited her, her message, like, mid-phrase. Yep. <laughs> but it yeah, recovers it's okay. Properly. Perfect. It's okay, yeah, Raina. No, yeah. And I think it makes sense that it's off because I think that bars f like fell out a long time ago. So we would have powered the port off. Yeah, that's good. Confirmed off then. Perfect. So uh, once the bars is once the new bars is connected, we're going to want that turned on down the road. So I don't know if you want to give systems a heads up. We still have to Yeah. We uh, still have to, you know, get to bottom find Grotto. It's a ways off. Yeah, it's a ways off. But it'll be before installation of the actual bars unit because we need the temperature readout on oceans. Yeah. So do we have a recovery plan for this crusty old bars? In like, yeah, we're going like to go... Like tugging at it? We're going to go get it, yeah. Yeah. It looks soft. I think we can get it. Okay. <sighs> I feel like we said that about that. that no, one that one did not look soft. <laughs> That, that was, was fully we encrusted. We took like two hours trying to get it. We yeah, never got it. it actually, I was surprised that it didn't come out because it looked like so exposed. You know what I mean? Like, like two so two thirds of it, two thirds of it were like right there, and then you like tried to pull on it, and it just would not budge. It, you were like bending the T handle. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That was chaos. That was a fun one. Yeah. Needed a chisel. Yeah, and then also the one. Uh, the autonomous one at Godzilla. Is that what it was called? Mm, is that the one I'm thinking of? No. Well, there were two. No, the one you're thinking of, I think, was Same. the one on the north yeah. side of Grotto. But there was an autonomous Godzilla bars that we lost, and then we found, but we didn't recognize it because it was fully encrusted in rock. Yeah. And then we found it a second time, and we're like, that's it. It's just we're fully encrusted in rock. And we couldn't, you couldn't even get to it. We need well, to make okay. these bars is so that they're, I don't know. Self-tunneling? Okay. Like the machine in the movie, The Core? Nice. Great reference. The Core. This is dive H1974. Is that a question? Yes. Confirmed. Yes, it is. Thank you. Because the dive plan I have.
Does that mean we've done almost 2,000 dives with Hercules? Uh, negative. We've done almost 1,000 dives. A thousand. Why? Ask Trevor. Four digits. Yeah, but zero is a digit. No, it's often dropped. Denied. How old are you, AJ? Do you start your age with a zero? Probably nice. not. Nice. You, know? you don't need to answer the question, it's rhetorical. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're clearly you're doing that for us. But it's it's a little different, Trevor. How old is Hercules? You know. Anyway, I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you why it was done. I think the OE is coming up on 500 ONC dives. Is it one five zero zero or is it o five zero zero? One five. What? Oh, on the OE? Yeah. It's just five zero zero. There you go. There's no O. You didn't have much ambition though, because what happens when we hit a thousand? We just add with the OE. Yeah, but a it, thousand? It'll break. <laughs> it'll break all the data ingestion. Right. Yeah. Uh, it'll be it'll thing. be like Y2K all over again. That's right. It'll be the um, OE1K bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even five o'clock and the set is rising. Yeah. Lovely. I got a cool photo last night of Herc being recovered. Oh, with the moon? With the moon. Oh, and nice. like Herc yeah. was at the surface of the water. Let's see if it turned out. My camera's not great. Oh, with a camera camera, not your phone? Like film? No, with a, f no, with a phone. Oh, I was excited. Phone camera. Let's see. Refresh. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. Wow, they're connected. What's connected? Via cable. The phone. Oh. No, they're oh. not. That's just plugged in there. You had me. That's just like via, the, oh, via the cloud. Yeah. I want this to fall over. Enhance. Can you force the cloud to sink? Uh, I, I haven't figured that out. Well, clouds on Google, don't sink. On Google Photos? Float, yeah. Sorry, what? I, I use Google <laughs> Photos. I couldn't hear over that. <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> over our use of Lambda. It broke my brain. <laughs> Look at how good my phone quality is. Oh, there, it enhanced. Oh, that is not bad at all. You like that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Because yeah. the color is kind of like it doesn't. Oh, nice. I Dancing like it. In yeah, the moon lovely. I can drop it in that folder. <laughs> Launching in the moon. The I don't know if I can, I can yeah. hit that note. Do you want to tweet it? Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, like for like for Nautilus. <laughs> I give you permission to tweet it. But I want credit and four thousand dollars. <laughs> what are we gonna caption this image? Dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Yeah, yeah. I think that's great. Moon. Nice, Trevor's got it. Well, was it a recovery or a launch? Well, no one has to know. Okay. Yeah, recovering in the moonlight. It doesn't sound, sound good. good. No, it's bad. <laughs> Terrible. <Yeah. laughs> Launching in the moonlight? Is that what, the, what it is? Sounds like a down. rough night. Yeah, recovering. I'm trying to get ahead of you <laughs> so, I can, so nice. I can get ahead of you so I can get lateral. Okay, I'll just leave it sitting. Yeah, you can leave it sitter. Leave. Is there, what was yeah, that folder sitting. that Marley put together? Topside images. Something like that. I got to dig. NA151. Let me... Yeah, I got to get off this VPN. I have a video in there mind. for everyone to enjoy of our youngest cr uh, science crew member trying on what is that red suit called? Survival suit. suit. Yep. The immersion suit. Immersion suit. Gumby suit. Was that you, Dave? What? Putting the suit on? Hey? What? That what? was Jacob. Oh, Jake. J yeah. That's right. Jake, was that you putting it the suit me. on? I had to put the suit on. Nice. If you. Oh, that was you back got when it? I was. I'm working on it. A little pushed up. That was back when I was trying to write names to faces in my brain, and it wasn't <laughs> taking. When we were still wearing masks. 
That's true, yeah. I'll use that as an excuse. I had no idea what you looked like. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> no discernible features. I don't recognize nope. you outside of that suit. <laughs> <laughs> the it's Gumby, the most safe I've ever felt in there. The Gumby nice. suit. So do I have to make a folder and call it? Put your name on it so that we can give you photo credit. Oh, I'm very famous. And if you want, you can enjoy a photo uploaded by Rennie of our young crew member in the Gumby suit, immersion suit. I bet you're just glad I was here so it didn't have to be you. Yes, that is precisely <laughs> it. However, Are you I second youngest? I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I feel like people on this ship are really young, but some person... Well, Josh isn't. <coughs> oh, wow. Because he falls <laughs> you, stupid movies. You want me to die, <laughs> and I'm old. <laughs> AJ, I know, buddy, are Josh, you trying to be I don't on Dark's level? To, with I the, don't want you to die, like, Josh. Do that's we just, it's not that he wants you to die, it's just he doesn't think you deserve to live. <laughs> There's a difference. And he's not 100% wrong, it's just, you don't say that. <laughs> well, I just like that you have to clarify in your bumper sticker that you do. Political stats. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Still, you're though, you're, you're approaching really dirt territory, buddy. <laughs> uh, well, it does sort of come with the chair, I guess. That's a good point. This is a good question that I don't know the answer to. What are all the, inf what's it, the information that's popping up on the screen? Ooh, that sounds like a data stewardship question. Well, I mean, it depends on what type of information, like what? The captions. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, the captions. Yeah, for sure. Well, video could also explain, but essentially, yeah, the... <clears throat> What you see on, on certain video feeds is what we call open captions. Some people call them closed captions, but that's incorrect. Um, but yeah, so open captions are basically lat long, coordinates, depth, heading, any other identifying features of, of the dive at any given time. So for example, in this dive, uh, the name for it is H1974, so that shows up in the dive. And the expedition number is NA151, and then uh, so on and so forth. You'll see the uh, lats and longs, uh, as well as the depth there. So, and yeah, it's uh, updated in real time. So every time you see that new line populate, <clears throat> yeah, you're getting pretty much real time data. Is that what makes it open instead of closed, or what, what's the difference? Well, wouldn't closed captions mean you you don't see it? Is that correct? I, b I believe so. Typically, yeah. these are, we always have these running. Um, but usually they're not displayed. I believe we have them on specifically for our, our friends at ONC. Yeah, that's the only difference between open and closed captioning. But hang on, all like every time you get subtitles on shows, it's always called closed captioning. And yeah, you see yeah. that. It's not they're always wrong. on. They're wrong. It's not right. on by default. Yeah. So you're turning closed these captions. Are, these are on open. by default, I believe. So difference. closed captions are when you turn. I don't. I actually have on. no clue if that's correct. Um, huh. Let's just assume that video. captions exist. And Always. when they're off, like, you know, that's oh. closed. And then when they're on, that's open. So. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So how come, so here's a question. How come ONC wants the captions open when yeah. don't we get most of that data as files associated with timestamps associated with the dive deliverables? Uh, essentially, it just makes our lives a lot easier because... <clears throat> We often go through this video post fact, and um, you know it just makes things a lot easier for the people going through that video and trying to sync up uh, locations, dates, times uh, with the annotations. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're so vested in it. Uh, nice. Mm -hmm. What if at the start of every video you had like one of those like action, like action scene? <laughs> I don't know. You're getting out of my territory here. I'm not a film, uh, you know, creator or anything. So okay. typically, I use that to be able to sync the audio and video later. Right. So we are we don't really have that problem. They're recorded on the same file. Yeah. Right. But I guess you could do that with like a point in space. You could be like, we're here. I mean, I guess you could. It's not very relevant, I guess. I'm not listening. What? <laughs> you know, if you want to be in the back row. 
I gotta listen? Yeah. Hey AJ, what's your job when you're on shore? That's true. Uh, that's a good question. I wear, I have lots of jobs. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks for that answer. <laughs> should, be, should be clear now. No, I was talking about this yesterday. Weren't you there? I think you were there. I was Probably. talking about what I did. The neutrino telescope. No. No? Neutrino telescope. That sounds neat, though. Yeah. Are they far oh, away? Okay, well, so I'm a project Orbit engineer. Really I'm, a, I'm a mechanical engineer, project engineer at ONC on the field team. And so I maintain a lot of our community observatories. I deal a lot with the um, earthquake early warning installations that we have on Vancouver Island. That's what I've been up to for the past couple of years now. Uh, and I also uh, am heavily involved in a project that's called P1, the Pacific Ocean Neutrino Experiment. And that's, yeah, like that's going to be a big underwater neutrino telescope at Cascadia Basin. Hmm. Cool. And later this cruise, if you're lucky, you'll help us recover straw A and straw B, which were the Pathfinder projects for P1 that allowed the scientists uh, in the P1 collaboration to determine whether or not Cascadia Basin is a suitable site to detect neutrinos. You know, I just saw in the news um, that that other neutrino site, Ice Cube, just yeah. detected a massive burst of neutrinos. Just oh, sweet. Yeah. So, <coughs> so, some crazy galactic event or something's happening. Ice Cube is in the South Pole. So you work on planning deployments and recoveries and stuff for that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I help. I help with the cruise planning, like this cruise, trying to figure out how we're going to get certain things on board and into the water and help design tools like the roller or the winch plate or any of those sort of mechanical uh, bits and bobs that get used. Um, platform builds and platform design. Cool. Helping oversee or, or stamping other colleagues' work. So scientists will come to you and say, I want to put this on the ocean, and you figure out a way to make it happen? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. We have a cool project coming up that we're going to be deploying in September. That's the uh, running tide experiment that involves sort of a camera and a whole bunch of bags of kelp in order to watch how the kelp, I guess, degrades over time, subsea. Wild. And so Donald, our, my colleague Donald Blow, has been spending a lot of time designing this like lander that would be easy to deploy, easy to have the ROV go and maneuver and open up the baskets and close the baskets and lock the baskets and make sure it's safe to be lifted overhead and cool. all that fun stuff. Cool, thanks. What do you do when you're not on the ship, Trevor? As little as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> uh, yeah. You work for Josh, eh? I do, yeah. Nice. What's the name of that company again? Ocean Crown, Dynamics. Crown Royals? No, Crown Royals is the name of the ship we own. We, I say. I just work there. but Ocean Dynamics. Ocean Dynamics. So how many are there in Ocean there's, Dynamics? There's four it's of you, us. Jay-Z, yeah, Josh. Me, me, John, Josh, and Andy. Andy. But what about the other guy? Me, John. Oh, there's a new person that is. Uh, we bring in contractors every now and then. We might be hiring a new person soon, but not hired yet. Who, who laid the cable with Andy and I? His name. Recently. Was Virgil, maybe. No. Gary. Gary. Gary's a contractor. Gary's freaking sweet, man. Gary's a, Gary's a beauty. Yeah, oh he's a regular God. contractor, but he does his own thing as well. So. Gary's the freaking coolest. I thought Andy was the coolest, and then I met Gary. <laughs> Oh, poor Andy. <laughs> poor Andy. No, oh. Andy's still the coolest. Gary's got the best lawn boat I've ever seen. He's got the best what? Lawn boat. What's a lawn boat? I mean, it's a boat that's on a lawn. It's it's incredible. Why would you put a boat on a lawn? Wh where else are you going to put it? In the water. No, it doesn't float. Yes, yeah, he doesn't constantly try to sink on you when it's on the lawn. He's got a lot of good dogs. I didn't meet any of Gary's dogs. No, you probably didn't bring them on the boat. Crown Royal's got enough room. It does, yeah. My dog's been on the Crown Royal. Is your dog Winston? Yeah, nice. We recovered wow. the Winston CTD earlier this cruise. Yeah. Named after my doggo. Oh, man. I'm looking for the Ice Cube Observatory Ooh. news, and somehow I ended up on Ice Cube, the rapper slash actors news.
Oh, yeah. It's a common misconception. Ice Cube. He actually has IceCube.com. The scientists didn't get it. Nope. That's a bummer. So what are you doing when you're not piloting ROVs for Josh? Me? Yeah. Okay, as little as possible. I wasn't getting, I try to. <laughs> you don't, you're not like John's aunt where you're doing like tons of mechanical calculations and like designing I'm calculating. I'm pretty dumb. Recalculating. No, we do a bit of shore work in support of this uh, operation mm -hmm. as well as uh, our in-house stuff and some other organizations as well. But um, my main focus is going offshore. So I, I don't know, I probably do, I don't know, less than 500 hours of office work a year. And how many days are you offshore, you think? Uh, this year I dialed it back to 120. Usually I'm 150 or so. I'm trying to get down sub 100, but it's hard. That's a lot. That's a lot of days. Eh, it's, it's pretty middle of the pack, I think. I think a lot of people how go. How many days are you offshore, Josh? He's not on comms. How many days is this cruise? Uh, what is it, 24 or something? 24 days then. I don't know, plus uh, inshore that we did earlier, which was about a week. Do you, what, you don't work outside of ONC? Not usually. Really? I don't like to work too much. <laughs> okay. I got a James to do that. I thought you were just in uh, <laughs> the Arctic, in Alaska. Yeah, that's good. Oh, can. that's a good point. I was there for four days. Those were the only other four days you've worked, other than when we're working together. Well, yeah. Wow. You pay him too much. Yeah, that's becoming clear. Honestly, yeah, I don't understand. Everybody just got to charge more and then have to work so many days. <laughs> I tried that. Yeah, I could try to answer that because, funnily enough, my so the question is, what's the difference between a biological oceanographer and a marine biologist, or I guess between the two fields? And I th that's a tough question. I think it's a pretty, pretty gray line. Like I know my wife got her PhD in biological oceanography at Dalhousie, but the lab that she was a part of worked very closely with another lab that was in the marine biology department, and the two had a lot of overlap. And so even though she has her degree in biological oceanography, she is working as a marine biologist for the province of British Columbia. So I think there's a lot of overlap. I think marine biologists often deal a lot more sort of with like the animals in the ocean, whereas biological oceanographers deal probably more with like plankton and kelp and like smaller species. Microbial. Yeah, maybe. I think I, that's my guess from what I've gotten from her, but I, th I think it's also just kind of terminology to some degree. Looks like Sean's ready to give some input. Yeah, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, the difference is also, like maybe they look more into like the mi micronutrient profiles and the water columns and all that. Um, yeah. I don't have too much to add. I think you did it pretty well, but there's also like biogeochemical is the thing, right? So I guess when yeah. you go from like small species like plankton into just like nutrients, it becomes yeah biogeochemical. Yeah, exactly. Biogeochemical Bioge oceanography. Um, but yeah, very very fine lines between these.
How are you doing? Good? A okay, great, that's fine. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. When I walked out of our quarters, um, I looked down the hallway and I saw you, Lynette, on in the hangar with your gloves, and then I heard the safety spiel being given, and like my brain took like an entire minute to like process what was happening. Yeah, I got up a little bit early to recover, and the vehicles were already on deck, and we were launching. <laughs> That's a bit of a brain bender, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Especially at like 3.30 in the morning. Definitely bent my brain when I came up out. I was expecting to like, oh, they're getting ready to recover. And then I saw Hercules there and I'm like, never mind, getting ready to launch. <laughs> What are the limiting factors for the descent speeds of the ROVs? The descent is limited by winch speed. The traction winch system doesn't like running at faster than 30 meters a minute. It can, but it doesn't like it. So that's the limiting factor on the descent. Hercules can probably go 35 or so, but we're limited by the winch. On ascent, the opposite. Hercules can only come up so fast. 25 to 30 and the winch speed is set to match Hercules' speed. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. There was a question that came up like a couple of days ago when uh, it was not a good time to ask questions and I've been thinking about the question and that question is what does it take to become an ROV pilot? Everyone gets here a different way. I've never met two people that have got here the same way. Yeah. But learn some technical skills, network a lot, go to places that you can meet people, whether that's conferences or just show up at ships sometimes, whatever you want to do. Make friends and talk to people. Um, one of the best ways into the industry is the Nautilus Internship Program. Maybe you could talk about that, Molly. me talk about the Nautilus internship program? Yeah. Okay, maybe you can help me. Sure. So um, if you go to our website, nautiluslive.org, um, you can go to this link called join. And I believe there um, you can see all the different kinds of tracks or maybe positions that you can join the team. Um, those of you watching, if you look inside the satellite feed, actually, um, we're in the van right now. And you can see most of us who are sitting in our seats, those, are, those of them in the front row, we have our pilots, we have the navigator, we have the video engineer. And then like my hand's waving over here in the back row. I'm the SCF in, in the SCF seat. And then on my sides are, <clears throat> we have a engineer. You gotta like put your hand a bit more forward. <laughs> Oh, there you are. That's uh, our engineer's uh, chief scientist for this one. And uh, I can't tell if Josh is trying to be in view or not. He's <laughs> looking at something. <clears throat> and then we have our data logger. Try to make your hand go like this, um, Sean. We gotta, oh, you got to make it come in front of another hand. Anyhow, um, we have like positions for you to join us in the van and um, you apply you will probably get an interview and that's how you join the team um, there's also a lot of information on like the kind of career path it takes to be in one of the positions that we have on the ship because there's those of us in the van and then there's the ship like we need a captain we need engineers we need deck workers so like Mike is someone you won't see in the van too much, but he is super important for the operations of everything. He is the deck chief, deck boss, yeah. And he um, makes everything on deck possible. So like, 
winches and launching and recovering and uh, deploying and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go back to the questions. Did I answer that question? I, I, I feel like I was just rambling at some point. <laughs> that was wonderful. You nailed it. All sorts of opportunities to come out here. There's also, isn't there a good ROV pilot program at Memorial? Or Marine Institute? Marine Institute. Yeah, there sure right. is. In yeah. Newfoundland. I've worked with a few people that have come through that program. Yeah, so have I. Might be the same people. Probably the same people. Yeah. The internship program is pretty good, though. They're one of the people on the ROV team right now is a returning intern that is now in the industry. Um, started as a student and has been coming back for years. Is that Danny? It is not. It is Jake. Is that Jake? Yeah. Other Jake? Other, other Jake, not me. Other Jake. I feel like this is, here's another question. Um, do you only have interest in ROV piloting or also piloting a manned submersible? on your own, maybe, question mark? That answer's different for every person. What about for you, Trevor? Nope, no interest. I, I call myself a surface dweller. I am a surface dweller. Yeah, what about space? Would you go to space? No, I like rocks. On the rocks. I like being on the rocks. Yeah. We're not on any rocks right now. Yeah, I like to take my rig. It's like a, I like to think I'm a plankton. You know, you find yourself a home or you're free floating. I'm like... Uh, you're floating like plankton right now? Uh-huh. Nice. There's a group of us. We're all different shapes. <laughs> <laughs> We're all pretty similar in shape, though. Some pretty, pretty close. Different characteristics and stuff. Um, oh, that reminds me of... A great next-gen moment, I'll tell you about Josh. Any advice for future researchers that are interested in exploring the deep sea? What are the various disciplines that can benefit from a deep sea dive? Sean, question mark? That's a very open-ended question. Um, but I mean, if you're asking, you know, what what kind of benefits can you get out of deep sea dives and recording this live footage? Uh, one of them that I can think of is uh, seeing all these organisms down here far below that anywhere a human can survive. And uh, yeah, it's quite useful to, uh, to see that and to record that and um, collect biodiversity information through that. All right. Thank you, Sean. This is the most SPL answers and questions we've had that I've had on any of my watches. So I'm super grateful. Yeah, it's a shame it's like uh, five in the morning. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, people on the East Coast, it's like 8 a.m. for them. It's like a morning show. Good morning from the Nautilus. Um, I'll die in the morning. I only, on my phone, I have the time in Honolulu and the time in Auckland, New Zealand, so... Those I are both not the east coast of no. the continental United States and Canada. Pacific time is, what, three hours ahead of, of Honolulu time? Yes, yeah. you are correct. So there you go. That's what time it is right now. That would be 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't think we have a lot of Honolulu listeners. No. Nope. Maybe the oddball, but not much. And then you, you were saying the East Coast, though, might have a bunch of well, listeners? Well, East Coast of the U.S. would be 8 a.m. right now. Mm. East Coast of Canada would be 9 a.m. right now. Mm. Newfoundland's about 9.40 right now. So, you know, starting their day. Yeah. Long weekend in Canada. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Grateful for those long weekends. Hey, ROV, I'm going to turn off auto iris so it's going to get weird just for a second. Roger. Getting weird. That's weird. That looks great. We're getting weird in the van. Much better.
time is a funny thing. Do you, do any of you two have kids? No kids. Nope. No thank you. No gracias. Anybody in the van will, this, this row has answered. You guys got any kids? I know Dave does. Kiddos, Trevor, no? Dog, Winston? Dave, kids? Yeah, three. Three? Yep. Jeez. One wasn't enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably should have been. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it that's a nothing statement. How old are they? 15, 17, and 23. Oh, yeah. Are they doing sports? Huh? Do they do any sports? No. Not really. Are they going to be ROV pilots? No. My daughter wants to go down the marine biology route, it would appear. Oh, yeah. Hmm. But she's 15, so that will probably change many, many times. <laughs> I heard that your daughter was listening the other day. She's been watching a few dives, yeah. That's Seems really to exciting. be quite interested. That's exciting. <coughs> Iceland is 12 a.m. Netherlands is 2 p.m. Wow. Worldwide viewers. Irish guy watching, and it's lunchtime. Wonderful. I wouldn't mind if it was lunchtime. I could go for some lunch. I must say, I like this shift, though, because I get, I get breakfast for lunch every day, and breakfast for lunch is my favorite. Yeah. Mm. And then lunch for dinner. And then lunch for dinner is totally fine, too, because the lunches here are like pretty complete. Oh, what no. do you do for breakfast, AJ? I eat cereal if it's there, and a peanut butter and jam sandwich, All and right. a yogurt. And they had some um, some fruit salad today, so I had some fruit salad. Nice one. Mm -hmm. But I must say, it seems like this like the cereal is a bit of a hit or miss on this ship, which is disappointing. They've had the Honey Nut Cheerios out recently. Yeah, yeah, I saw those. Had some. Some of them were in little heart shapes. I saw that too. Very cute. It's the little things. Because yeah. Cheerios is good for your heart. Heart health. We're here for all of that. Um, did you guys know that? Is it Rye? Yeah. Yeah. Rye. rye yeah. Rye. She uh, stains glass. She's she does. Yeah. It's really cool, actually. It's really her beautiful. It's her really work. Nice. Yeah. So beautiful. I don't know what her um her like artist tag is. We should give her like uh, some shout outs. Oh, spoon face. That's right. <coughs> spoon face. Spoon what? face. Spoon face on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Get your stained glass. For our what is her position on here? Right? She's a project engineer. She's another mechanical engineer, project engineer. Mm -hmm. She's helping us out on deck this cruise. She's doing a lot of our deck rigging and platform preparation, winch, she runs our winch, uh, along with Doug, um, helps us process samples that come out of the ocean. When we get down to the bottom on this dive and we try to pull instruments out of the toolbox, you'll see all the hard work that they did getting all those instruments rigged up in a way that the ROV can interact with them. And then they help, they work with Mike, deck boss Mike, there we go. to get him over the side. Mm. Getting in. beams, loving it. 
115 meters off bottom. 115 meters off bottom. That's the altimeter kicking in? Yep. yep. Oh, that's pretty far. Mm -hmm. What is the altimeter? It's like it looks down and tells you your altitude hmm. off of the bottom. So like you can go by depth, which is like here, like Herc depth, Argus depth. Mm -hmm. But once you get close to the bottom, you actually can see how high you are off bottom too. Ooh. Altimeter. Uh, my learning style is to repeat after you. So if you don't like that, just let me know and I'll turn off my SPL and repeat after you in the quiet. <laughs> just sit in silence. <laughs> <Weep>. <clears throat> what do you guys do in your spare time on the ship? You know, what some people time? don't I think sleep, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's very little spare <laughs> time no on spare this. Time. <laughs> we watched Goldeneye Plan the next dive. Bit. Actually, uh, this We morning. did watch, like, that the airplane scene. Oh, man. That was so The stupid. opening scene of Goldeneye is the best scene yeah. I've ever seen in my life. No spare time safe. on this expedition. Well, you had Jeb sing to you, so that was, that must have been That's pretty time. special. That's, spe that's special. Yeah. yeah, some people will have guitars. Um, I read a book, you know. Mm. You know, it's we have good opportunities for reading time. Plane, trains, and automobiles was on this morning. Oh, I thought in the that's lounge. What it was. Yeah, okay. That I'm, I'd never seen that movie, and I just uh, recently saw it. I watched some of it. Very funny. Did not think that humor would hold up, but it does. When we were watching the Mummy, I like just wanted to laugh everything at everything, so I yeah. had to like excuse myself. The Mummy is a yeah. good one as well. That's a good movie. What's the guy's name in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Keeps getting cursed. Curse you, whatever. John Candy? Ooh, things are popping oh. up on the radar. Oh. Steve Martin? Sonar. No, the uh, Sonar. Yeah. Uh, character. Oh, I have no idea what the character's names are. Thank you for that correction, Dave. That's okay. I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, for a little bit more. So you know. where are we dropping in here by the by the tool basket? Yeah, ish. Nice. <coughs> Should be the safest place to parachute in. Yeah. Let's come to a stop at uh, 30 meters altitude, and then so like seven meters from now, yeah, and we'll uh, get all set up. <coughs> Thanks for that awesome SPL. Don't be surprised if the talking comes down, because operations is our top priority. Safety Jokes are the top first. priority. I'm all stopped. Okay. You could probably activate auto heading. Yeah. Start backing towards you now. Right. Bottom in sight. Bottom behind me. Hmm. Cool, I'm over this rift. That's a great place to come down into. Love that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go up and over to the northwest. What's that? Is that an ADCP? I think so. Heck yeah. Sure is. All right, man, let's follow that cable. Roger. RV, is there any right. chance we're gonna get a white balance in, or? Yeah, we'll get. Uh, yeah, whenever we're set up first, yeah. and you can probably start bringing your Atlanta heading around now. Yeah. Hang a right. Follow that blue cable. Roger. We're gonna do some bottom setup before we get too. You in do the weeds. what you need, Trav. Thank you. What am I looking at here? Oh yeah, here we are. Whatever makes here you are. happy. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Can I switch you over to DVL? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Dave, once you got, oh yeah, we got it in view. Yep. Once you're set there, can you please spark up the craft and we'll yep. bring that out front and do our white balance. It's good hey enough or not. Someone asking for a nav? Yeah, is there a way, like I'm watching, I'm looking at a high pack here and is there a way to like realign it because right now we're sitting at like MEF ADCP, like we took a point earlier, or like I guess we're not sitting at it now, but we're close to it. Is there a way to, if we were at a point, would you be able to like realign it so that we match all of our previous waypoints? Uh, coming up on the arm. No, Roger, go ahead. I don't think so. Okay. Um, so I think this is probably just a sound speed refraction error with mm -hmm. USBL. Yeah. Our positioning. I'm gonna rack the camera all the way out. Yep. So there's like no way to like like take and all of them and it up, shift them or something like that. Match that. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Stand by. Hold on. Let me get it centered up here. Whoa, we're getting a little cozy. Um. Okay. You can put that kind of as far out as you can, while still keeping that white thing centered, and hopefully video can still zoom in enough to fill the screen with it. Somewhere there. Okay, video, you're good to zoom. Thank you so much. Let us know if it's not quite centered enough. We need a bit more. Yeah, can you bring it into about uh, centered about here? We need about 80% of the screen. 80%, Roger. You can pull wide if that'd be helpful. Yeah. Somewhere in there, maybe. Right about there should be good. Just down a hair. Right there should be perfect. Yeah, that'll work. All right, uh, camera's gonna go black for a moment. That is fully intentional. Um, I think we can get a ship move in. Can we go this way? Yeah, Please. sure can. Probably 30 meters anyway. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters, zero five zero, please? All right, we're all set. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you. Pull and wide for you. Thank you. Happy with the USBL offset DVL? Uh, yes. Sounds good. This might be a tough ship move. Um, we have a lot of wind and current, and Probably we're moving that. like totally laterally. Yeah, so perfect. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Arm hydraulics are off again. Okay. Let's uh, start doing the thing. First stop, grotto bars. Yeah, grotto bars. We should have a parking position in the bio box. And we will need to disconnect the old bars, plug in the new bars, and then we can go and get the old bars. Okay. And probably bring it back to the tool basket. And then we can go get the new bars and start our installation. Are you excited for how much weight we can lift? How much weight can you lift? Plenty. That's excellent. Enough to be excited about. Yeah, take this I'm moment to thank the ROV team for all the hard work that they've been doing over the last little while getting this sub in.
top shape, ship shape. Ship shape. Did it for you, AJ. I know, and I'm honored. Oh, well, look at that overhang. See the camera light is on. It's nice. Yeah, little navigation lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lighthouse, totally. That's exactly what it is. If it was on a pan unit, we can just swing it around. Imagine being a lighthouse keeper down here. Mr. Tubeworm. So, um, there's a part of me that feels like there are palm arms inside of tube arms. That's enough delta for now. No, I think they live like next to each other. Mm. The tube arms look like they have like a thing inside them though. Mm -hmm. It's gross. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do kind of have like a shell kind of thing. Hey, uh, AJ? Yeah. Grotto bars connectors on that green platform. That's is that exactly it. Yeah. Okay, great. This is it right here. Cool. I think we're about Pow. at the end of the leash right now. We're gonna have to wait on the ship move, which is already in. Pow! Look at that. Oh, pow! Demonstration. There's a vent. Cool. Well, because I we can't get over there, might as well. Yeah. Let's go have a look. See some science. I at, see uh, black smoke. Other spots. Yeah, that might actually be a good bars vent. Like, instead of going up and around, you see this oh one yeah, right here? Oh, yeah, one right there. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look over here. I wonder, because there's, like, a lot of these little, like, flat shelves that we can put the pressure vessel on. Yeah, agreed. That one, that big one at the bottom right of the screen is probably not strong enough, maybe? This this guy here? Yeah, I don't know if that... Would you think that would hold the bars? I don't know, but, like, there might be... Well, you might, it might even be able to reach from like down here, right? Uh, yeah, possibly. That's definitely we'll strong enough to hold the bars. We'll inspect. Yeah, I like that vent. It's a good looking vent. Yeah, and it's close. Yeah. If we, and It looks like if we come around from this side, then we're pretty safe. Like, I know there's a lot of activity on this, so we have to be careful. Look at all them tubies. I want some diffuse flow and some venting at the top, too. Nice. A lot of venting on top. Super Shimmer. nice. Yeah, I love that. Um, Get some zoom I on have that a tubey if you want. Question. Sure, I'm going to come around first and I'll zoom request. out. Sure. What's that? I have a random question slash request. For who? What's up? Uh, Turn off the light here. Oh, that lighting is legit. Super nice. Okay, video, can you zoom in, please? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go there for now. Oh, That's those okay. are cool. Oh, Come out a bit, please. Tat, yep. Yeah, let's go there for now. That looks pretty hot. Oh, yeah. That, that looks, looks like a good bars day. site. Yeah, that would work for bars, except I think it's a little far. Yeah, it's pretty far yeah. around the around the. I like the little, like, uh, little, like, gnome hat. Yeah. That's funny, yeah. How did he get down there? Garden gnome. So I think the kind of brownie things are the palm worms. Oh, okay. Mm. But we'll let Fabio guide us. I can line back up on that and we can get a better zoom. Stand by. Standing by. Do you want me to pull wide? I think you're good to stay there. Roger. And uh, you can zoom in there. Roger that. Oh, wow. Oh, mm -hmm. those things, yeah. Dancing in the vent. Gotta really fly this thing now. Let's get some more spice. Oh. They're like little crinoids. Yeah, I think those are palm worms, but again, we'll let Fabio decide. But like okay, these guys on, here. Hold on, white. Oh. 
So ship move looks like it's complete. I think we're just waiting on Atalanta to swing now. So yeah. Because we can, might as well have a little more fun. Just trying to play with your lights, ready for that video. Yep. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's a cool view. I love the camera for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa. That silhouette vibe. Wow. I don't know why, but it just looks like the silhouette of Oscar the Grouch to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, now I can't not see that. <laughs> oh, that's too, that's too uncanny. No idea what you're talking about. You don't know who Oscar the Grouch is? The green guy in the bin. He lives in a trash garbage bin. can guy. <coughs> Sesame Street. Is he Lights a part coming of the, on. Um, Sesame yep. Street. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we got a little room to breathe now. I can probably try to sneak over here a bit. Yeah, even if we can go and just spend a little time poking around the one that we liked, this one. Yes, absolutely. My question slash request was like uh, the Atalanta light. Last time it was turned off and you got to like see a lot of the surroundings of Hercules and like. Feel free to play with them, Dave. How that would look in this point of view. It's nice to watch the tether yeah, every now and then, so we we'll have turn them back on every now and then, but. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, cable lights as well. It's, it, having them off can actually help sometimes with certain parts of the ROV navigation. You can see the distance between oh. the brow and the wow. overhangs. So I'll line up on that close smoker on this side, then we can get a zoom standby on that. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. This is what I live for. <laughs> Hey, you think we could um, temperature probe this while we're here? Yeah, let's just first get a good look. Uh, zoom in, please, video. Uh, on Atalanta? Oh, uh, Hercules. Hercules. Thank you. Pretty it looks like there's away. a couple of spots here. Can we break off that little point, the little, I don't know, one foot tall lump on that? To get yeah, like I think, uh, yeah, I think those would, we'd ream those out. <laughs> they, I think those will come right off, yeah, the okay. black ones. But if we look to the right. You can stay in video. Roger. Uh, the one, yeah, this one. Yeah. I think that we'd ream out into like one hole. That would be good for... For bars? The bars. I see the bars hose in the background In the there. background, yeah, I know. Okay, come wide, please. It was so wide. close. The old one might just fall into that hole. So, the next wow, question is... the smoke coming off that thing. Where yeah. do we want to land to do any of this stuff? That's another tricky part of all this yeah. action. The... This bit's like on a little bit of a chimney, but what's nice is that it's not, like there's not an overhang right yeah. above it. Yeah, agreed. So you don't get the brow all up in the business. Yeah, I know that. And there, you don't, it doesn't look like you have to pass through any like shimmering water to get to it. Mm -hmm. The so one, the first one on the left, that's a, we'll put our port side of the brow kind of up into those tube worms, I expect. Uh, the starboard one has a little less deluxe of a landing site. So the nice thing about the starboard off. one is that we could probably put the bar's pig down yeah, on the back slope. Away a little more. Whereas if we went on the star, on the port side, I don't know where we would put the pig. That would be like um, stable enough because this here. does Trying not look this stable. A, you're going to lose the view for just a sec here. Yeah, yeah. Just looking at back at Atlanta direction making sure that's in the clear zone it looks pretty happy yeah so great so to get the perspective from this view you know okay um one more time there aj that last part on the i was just saying if we go if we go uh to this one the on the left yeah then we might have to put the bars here which i don't know if that's very stable yeah understood whereas if we go here to the one on the right then we might be able to get away putting the bars like on the slope somewhere. Okay, that looks quite <coughs> steep. It does, possibly. yeah. Maybe the tube wormy spot down to the right might work. Or Ooh. where's where's the bars right now? It's right here. Is it a, is it buried? Yeah. yeah. Ish. Okay. And the bars probe. Oh, it's bars probe is in the same kind of spot we're looking at. Yeah, it's actually yeah. This is the bars probe. You can actually see it. It's right here. 
So this, oh, was, yeah. this probably okay. was the vent we were in, and it's just moved. Yeah, Roger. Mm. Okay. Um, well, we can get set up for this now. I think we're in a happy spot. Um, yeah, let's... What comes first? I guess let's... We could take the temperature of one of these vents. Do you want to get the old bars out of there first? We could, yeah. That might be some semi-destructive. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Do you want to unplug at the connector first or up here? Uh, well, we can't unplug up here, but uh, we, let, we let's just bring this down to the connector before we do the plugs. Sure, Roger. So let's just get this out of harm's way because you're right. That might be somewhat destructive, and then we'll know what we're dealing with. Yeah. Okay. Um, this might be interesting to do on the fly. Um, eh. what, mm -hmm. what it might make sense to do is to try to get the wand free, and okay. then just like let go of it and then okay. go after the bars. Can you come super duper extra wide, please, video? Thank you. Might smoke out the brow a little bit here. We're gonna bring the hydraulics on for the arm. Go ahead, yep. direct apply smoke to forehead kind of action. I'm going to get out of there for a sec. Try that again. It's oh, no. Pretty That's too much, much sheer. To yeah, it's pretty much sheer, all right. Yeah. Fully in. Still going in. Just going to rack the camera and give me a wider view here. So... Yeah, this might be might be tough. too close. I mean, I'm above it, but I'm not too close vertically to that camera, I don't think, am I? It's pretty far away. Hard to say. I have to give it a look. Can we grab that probe on the fly? Probably, yeah. The connector's down there, the camera's just behind it. just want to get a visual on that so I don't land on it. Yeah, it's over That's there. the okay. new bar staged. Yeah, Roger. Camera's just to the right of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this might be an on-the-fly grab for removal, and then we'll, we can assess landing next, but it's it's pretty sheer, yeah, like, like uh, Dave says. I think I can probably hold steady. You can get the arm out front kind of staged up if you want. You could, like another viable option would be to use the left arm to steady yourself, use the right arm to just grab the bar's pig and see if, you know, the wand maybe comes free on its own. Are we worried about pulling this out slow? No, it's not, it's not in the vent, it's not, okay, understood. it's not plugged in, we don't have temperature on it, so. Okay, so we're fine. I think you're okay. Can turn down light on? Can you remind me of where the handle is, where we're actually grabbing? Yeah, I can't see it now. Um, this yeah, is. it's not, not super clear. Let's see. Can you zoom in, please, video? I think this and is it. Good there. Is that it right there? That curved piece? Uh, I don't know where the Just handle is. Just behind the vent? Yeah, it's behind the vent. I think it's that piece right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you might have to kind of show You can go for it if you us. want, Dave. You can just bonk it and see what wiggles. Yeah. Might be grown in there. Yeah, might be. Jaws really slow. Yeah, Roger. Well, it looks pretty solid in there, eh? It does, doesn't it? It yeah. is, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, it's it's in there hard. 
That is the probe, oh, though. That's Neat. it. So, what would you like to do, AJ? Could well, keep, we could keep reefing on it. Yeah, I think you try to just kind of wiggle it, see okay. if it comes free. I mean, not to be too choosy, but if we could not get the very tip, that would be nice. <laughs> but, I mean, you do what you need to do. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's Roger. What it's I need rock to say. solid. It's yeah. pulling the vehicle all over. Yeah, that's where the thruster wash is going on in the background there. Yeah. Yeah. But, you, I mean, you're making progress. <laughs> Are we? This we can keep like trying progress. if you want. Yeah, but, uh, I, yeah, please do. It is not. I'm not one to easy. give up that easily. It looks like the tip right. is actually still in the vent or in the rock. Maybe not in the vent, but in the rock. Oh, yeah. well, I guess I'll wiggle it there. Yeah. You can you can reef on it. Yeah, nice. Love that maneuver. That's that's what I want to see. Yeah, this is pro. Yeah. Get out of the rock. You stupid one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice oh, job, nice. Dave. All right. Holy moly. Now what, AG, come wipe this video. Oh, man. Oh, I hope. <laughs> that looked like it was still in a vent. It might have been. Whoops. But uh, not much chance of getting that one out Not slowly. much choice, you know. Yeah. Better um, what do you want to do? Do you want to drop it or? Yeah, drop it. Okay. Yeah. We'll go get the pig. That float is going to be fun. Wait, is that oh, disconnected? It's severed. It's severed off. It's okay, severed. Yeah, it's off. Jeez. Oh. All right, I don't think well, we care about bringing it out slowly. Jeb for parts. Uh, let's move it out of the way then, because it's got yeah, some floaty action. That's right. I'll yeah, you can grab it by the float. You can grab by anywhere at this point. There's a little monkey's fist below me. It's neat. We'll just put it is. back with the... Uh, We'll put it back with the new bars. We'll stage it on the, the shelf there by the connector. Okay. You can put it somewhere not near the connector so you don't have to worry about it getting in a thruster. I'd prefer that, yeah. Yeah. So we'll just find a, we'll find a happy spot. Okay. Happy spot. Well, that okay. explains why we weren't getting data. Yeah, that explains the data loss. The old yeah. wireless. So it wasn't us. It was. What well, wasn't us? A little bit it with it, it, it yeah, Roger that. We there we installed go. it, and then the vents are always We're changing, stuck on that cable. right? Mm. So a vent probably changed and melted right through I'll there. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Only yeah. a few months after we installed go. it, because we Got know it. when we lost data. Nice. So we knew something was wrong with it, but. I'm gonna come up before I turn, so I don't take that camera out. Boy, it looks like this thing has seen a hard life, eh? Uh, Who's getting stills on this yeah. stuff? What's that? Anybody getting stills? No. Don't I'm think not, so. I'm not doing the stills. No. Do you want to do the stills? If you want me to, sure. I'd be open to learning how to do it. I've never done it before, but oh. I'm down to learn. I don't really know how to do it either. I think it's just one of these computers, and you can just, like, you just click to take the picture. So, AJ, we got the panel, uh, sorry, we got all this yeah. action right below us. So Where would you like this connector? Kind of far, far side of the camera, possibly? Yeah, other side of the camera might be nice. Like, we're going to kind of, we're going to come okay. back for it and collect it, but we obviously don't want it in the way when we're dealing with the new bars yeah, and okay. the connector. So, yeah, anywhere where it'll be easy to find. So I think Roger. on the shelf on the other side of the camera is good enough. Somewhere where it's easy to land as well. Roger. So what do you think about the pig? What do I think about it? Yeah, like, like is it worth getting? Yeah. Because it's probably flooded? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's maybe still worth retrieving. Excavating. I mean, it, yeah. We'll like see how easy it comes out. If it's really difficult to pull out, then we will leave it. Sever the cable or something? <clears throat> well, the cable disconnects where we need it to. I didn't even go anywhere there, Dave. It should be okay. Yeah. Lovely. Like a pro.
You can keep the arm kind of staged, going yeah. right back for it. Nice job on that, by the way. Man, pretty ambitious trying to get instrument readings from a hydrothermal vent, eh? Oh, man. Yeah. Like yeah. These things just get completely cased in, burned up. Landslided. Landslided. I guess no one said it was easy. Another new word. I like it. <laughs> Landslide. There's a song. <laughs> Bye, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like that. Hey, Josh, you want to do digital stills on that? Yeah. Here? Put them to work. Use your, use your cell phone and take pictures of the screen. I don't even. <laughs> we'll put that in a deliverable. What does it take for, what can we do to help Josh get started on doing the stills? Because I think these are some super nice images to be I getting can't even on the still. See the piggy. I think it was on this computer at some point. Uh, was it though? Oh, can you line up that lens? It'd be now. better we could zoom I in I thought on it was on the far computer. Yeah, maybe so. I'm just going to come hydraulics here. I definitely Roger run that. it from here, but I don't know how. It was just uh, someone had brought it up. Hey, video, do you know how to work the digital stills camera? Uh, is it on the capture computer? Could be, yeah. I'm going to go over and look at it real quick because I think I might remember which computer it's on. BRB. Front when row, you guys doing okay? You so know what we're going we're after? Stay yeah, stand by, AJ. Okay. When, you're, when you're lined up, we can zoom in there and then I can watch my brow as I come in. And when I say you zoom in, I mean you can ask video for a zoom. Yeah. I think that's about all, Smith. Great. All right, Jacob, you want to zoom in a wee bit on Atalanta, mate? On Atalanta? Yeah. Roger that. How's that? Let's see if we can get a wee bit more out of that camera. Hang on. Hold that. Yeah, that's it. That's Happy as good that. as we get. Great, thank you. That helps me know what I'm melting. Perfect. Uh, okay, AJ, I think, I think we're getting set up here. Uh, kind of wondering what you want to do as far as grabbing this thing. Coming up on the arm again. Roger that. We can start with a zoom if you want, AJ, and we can... Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, once you're ready there, Dave, let me know. We'll but I think it's just going to require some excavation. I mean, obviously, not. don't grab it by the connector. I think I see the handle on the top. Uh, if you're halted, Dave, then yeah, can, it looks like this yeah, could good. be the handle. Zoom in, please. Roger that. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I would take yeah, that by that it. yellow. Yeah, yeah and, and then pull. going down, the connector's right towards us. Pull towards us. Like, I think it's going to be even more cemented than the probe was. Great. So I yeah. think it's going to take sort Full of. Full wide, please. Full and wide. All the sort of jerking motions you got. Okay, you can get the arm out, Dave. Go Twisting, ahead. Twisting, jerking motions. Like we could. Like you're supposed to lift. Like you're supposed to lift. Yeah. It's bad for Herc's back. Lift with the legs, Herc. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to call for a zoom if you want or need it, Dave. Yeah. Patience. Patience. Nope. A little. I'm just gonna. Yeah. There we are. Lovely. Come on. Feels like you're locked. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Give her gas. I'm just going to kind of let you do whatever you need. I'm going to not thrust too much to raise the dust pile. Yes. Yeah, that is 
that is a lot more in there than the other one. Yeah. 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 I'm going to back away. Can you push away a little bit? Yeah. Just getting the brow a little involved. That handle's going to come free, AJ. You see it yeah. moving there? Yeah. The bars will stay, but the handle will come. The handle's coming away. Yeah. Is there... Okay, you can let go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Is it worth just one shot trying to get the jaws around the actual unit itself near the connector, like kind of where we can see it. I know what you're asking, yeah. Um, just one shot. That. Did you think they fit? I don't remember. Around the bars? What's the bars diameter? Uh, I don't know. Bigger than these jaws, I think, looking at that. I think so too. Is that, how wide can the jaws go, is that I it? I want to say 18 centimeters. Is that true? No, I don't remember. We wrote it down once and immediately forgot, so. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it from that handle, so let's just try, let's bang around. Can we get a little zoom in, please, Jacob? Got to do that. Just there, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like it's just too big. Yeah. Can you, with a closed jaw, try to like excavate around it? Yep. We can, we can kind of do that. We're not going to stop the jaws just, fully it'll into the It'll probably just like uh, bump the ROV back. Likely, yeah. And we won't. I just want to see if we can see it moving at all, like just to get a sense of like, you know, level yeah. of effort required to get this thing out. Yeah, that's not moving. That's that's in there, yeah. Oh, I saw it jiggle a little. Did ya? Yeah. Well, we can keep trying. Yeah. Got nowhere to be. This is where this we is gotta it. be. This is where we gotta be. Yeah. We're doing it. We're in it. All the tube worms jiggle. Yeah. Doesn't look. I don't know if that's just from the current that like the arm is kind of stirring up. Yeah. Let me get a little closer. There's, yeah. There's this piece just here. Yeah. That's thick, solid. This last ditch effort, AJ. We could grab the connector and pry up. Uh, you'll just rip the connector right out. Here's hoping. Then at least you got something to recover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flooded connector. Yeah, perfect. Deluxe. Can you come in just a touch? Yeah. Trevor, cheers. Right there. Yeah, she won't fit over the... Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Um, okay. All right, let's leave this for now. And uh, we'll go do a, we'll go get our new bars. We'll do our connection swap. We'll get it fired up, and you know we'll see what the boss has to say about coming back here to rescue this. Also, Jeb would know if it's even worthwhile. I know he got a flooded one back. I see. Yeah. And uh, I don't know it, what parts he was able to scavenge from it. So that okay. will help us right. figure right. out what's right. worth it. Roger. Do you want to do the connection swap before we do any temp probing? Yes. Yeah, roger that. Because then we can get uh, systems firing it up while we go do temp probing. Okay. <coughs> Our bar's track record has not been great. Is that the same one that was avalanched? No, I think the one that was avalanched was the flooded one that Jeb got.